We open up the sacred space, calling in the energy of the universe, of it all. The energy that connects us all to everything and anything. I call on your energy to be here with us right here, right now. Great spirits, I give you permission to use my thoughts, my hands, my words, my actions to be the highest good of all. Highest good of Madeline today. I call on my higher self to step forward and my ego to step aside. Calling in Madeline, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors who are whole and healed. I welcome any messages that are meant for the highest good and the collective good. My hope is that more people that need this medicine, this healing, have access to it. It has transformed my life completely and would love for more people to partake in, in this medicine and use it with a lot of respect, use it with a lot of integrity. I think as a person of color, I fear that this industry will be privatized and that these indigenous practices will not be recognized for how powerful they are and how essential they are for community. Especially as a person of color, I'm aware how hard, how unsafe it can feel. Like for example, my first group journey was with 15 white people in me. And I was lucky that the medicine didn't take me into the difference between us. It took me into the commonalities across us. But I did have a trip with a similar group of people, actually almost the exact same group, and the experience was all about difference and not feeling like I was amongst people who even appreciated the different experiences I might have had as a BIPOC person and what it would take for me to be there and the level of perceived safety I have versus what they have. And I have a calling. I'm like, okay, I, I'm a brown guy with a brown and, you know, I grew up in Tennessee as an Indian guy. It was not um, friendly terrain. And it was probably friendly compared to what a lot of people in this country experience. And so to me, I'm like a a shepherd, a branch, a bridge, for a safe bridge for people of color. That's what I would like to be, to use the substance. And I'm not a guy who has a lifelong relationship with plant medicine. It's just been the past few years and it's clear to me, oh, I have a responsibility now. The majority of the people that were going towards the medicalized route they, not everyone could access that because it was thousands of dollars for a session. So we were, we were trying to initiate that we want to keep this within community. We didn't want to have it to be medicalized. Um, we want to be accessible for people of color, indigenous folks, people that like really need that healing because the trauma has affected people of color. So we're feeling that we are the ones that need this medicine accessible the most. And so that's something we were talking about and trying to speak to our representatives and our senators because we understand that this is medicine, but they were going on a, on, a, on a more capitalist movement and that's something that I doesn't align with my goals and my morals and values. I see it as you're either for people or you're against people and I'm not for making profit. I want this medicine to be accessible to all human beings. To be frank, black folks, like we're very skeptical about shit especially when it comes to drugs, you know, because we've had our families torn apart from this. We don't have this sort of Woodstock, beautiful, fairy tale hippie thing to feed off of. A lot of what we have is violence and pain and, you know, being locked up. So the fact that I was with nine black folks spoke a lot just about where we are as a community. Having access to these medicines is allowing us to do ancestral healing. If I was with seven to 10 white people, I don't think I would have been able to go as deep. I don't think I would have felt as safe and I, I would not have done as much.